All right, I'm at 85 Park Place. This is a three bedroom, two and a half bath townhouse in Palmetto Trace. The HOA takes care of trimming back these trees uh, of the groundskeeping here. And that's, oh, and the trash pickup twice a week. And that's pretty much it. This one has a one car garage. It's got an open floor plan. So the roof on the building was replaced in 2019 according to the online permitting information uh the each owner is re responsible for the exterior of the building including the roof that's why it's a townhouse and this one they have actually added this a balcony type of deal situation uh right above the dining area which i, I kind of like it I mean, it, it Otherwise, it would have been open all the way up to the ceiling. So before I walk back there, I want to show the garage. This is, again, one car garage. There is an attic space right there. And the water heater is about six years old. Um, doesn't look like it was done to coat, though. I don't see the expansion tank. Um, so being in the inside garage, it doesn't require blow off leg. But you do have the hurricane shutters right there. So it looks like they also added a few touches here. The wind's coating here on the, uh, around the perimeter of the living room. Looks like some trimming, paneling. And um, all the flooring looks nice actually throughout the unit. I've already walked it. It's just all mismatched. So you've got travertine tile here. You have wood um, on the stairways have different kind of tile in this area, in the kitchen, and then different kind of flooring upstairs and in the master bedroom down. I'll show you here in a minute. So here's the half bath off of the dining area and the kitchen. These are wood cabinets, could be repainted, I would assume, with stainless steel appliances and granite countertop. So again, just a little bit of a mismatch going here. So you've got this kind of cabinets and countertops here, and then they have the built-ins added to the breakfast nook area. I mean, this is overall looks nice and everything. It's just, again, it's just a little mismatch. So you've got different type of cabinets and different uh, color of the granite countertop. Wash and dryer hookup is in this corner, right off the kitchen. Washer is included, the, the dryer is missing. So here's the back patio. It's a, um, it's not a covered back patio. Uh, you can add a screen porch, like the neighbors did right over there. And no neighbors in the back. I can show you a little better of what's going on behind us right now from upstairs. AC both inside and outside units are of a carrier brand. That's a pretty good brand. I'll shut the door behind me and walk you into the master bedroom. So here's the pantry of the kitchen as well. So this is what I was saying. Here's a different type of flooring in the in the master bedroom. It's not a bad flooring. I, mean, I like it. It's just different from the rest of it. You've got the linen closet here, a vanity, single vanity, and then a walk-in closet in this corner. It's a pretty deep closet. And then the bathroom. I don't see any renovations. Looks pretty original to me. I and mean, it's all relatively clean and nice. Um, same original, older toilets. Now they're usually much taller. And that's the view from the master bedroom. Now let's go back out into the living room and up the stairs onto the second floor. Overall, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a clean unit. 
it doesn't really look like it needs much of anything other than maybe personal updating. So again, you've got laminate flooring here, red cherry type upstairs. And then you have an opening that looks like they, they were added built-ins here for an office space. And then on this side, this is the add-on. It's like a balcony type. So it's a step down and you can see the holes between the boards. Again, it feels sturdy. Doesn't look like it needs paint anywhere. It looks clean and everything. So AC unit is carrier brand again. And this was uh, replaced in 2020. So relatively new as well. Here's the thermostat, not a smart system. So I would just replace the thermostat probably. Bedrooms are of uh, a similar size to each other. There are two bedrooms up here with Jack and Jill bathroom. So we have this area behind us. So basically what they did is they um, took down all the trees. They're building a retention pond back there. And it's gonna be behind this building as well as behind the building next to us um, on the south side. So here's the bathroom. And this is being done due to a couple of reasons. First of all, they are uh, expanding, they're widening, adding a lane onto Highway 98. So they need a runoff water to go somewhere. So that's gonna come here as well as uh, a new parkway that's behind these trees over here. So at some point they're gonna, you know, widen it as well. They're gonna add more communities, I'm sure, along the way. Um, so this is just a natural way of a progress. They have to add the retention pond. Looks like a pretty good size. And then again, so it's gonna, so this is owned by state of Florida. And then uh, back, back here, it goes all the way down to the, another building and then past that, where the trees are further down, from that point all the way to Highway 98, that is all uh, owned by a local dealership, car dealership. So as far as I know, there's gonna be a new car lot. It's a dealership right along 98. Um, it's gonna be some sort of a luxury brand is what we, we're being told in the news. Don't know exactly what's going in yet, but uh, it's a local Chevy car dealer who owns that lot. They bought it, and um, I guess once they um, finish up what they need for the retention pond, they're building a new road there. They'll start building the dealership as well.